Hi, this is Robin Good for Master New Media and here I am. I promised that I would have come back for more on free versus paid content and here I am to share with you a little more of what I'm thinking about uh, this story. Actually, a, a great story is happening in between uh, yesterday and today which I think fits perfectly what I want to communicate and gives me an opportunity to share something new. You probably know about Lee Le Fever and Common Craft. This guy and his girlfriend Sachi have done absolutely astounding work in creating uh, animated screencasts uh, of a unique kind where simple graphics and a friendly voice introduce topics uh, that are sometimes challenging to people who are not familiar with the technologies we use here every day and make them simple and approachable for everyone. I have posted many of his previous videos that are uh, characterized by the title uh, being always something like RSS in simple words, uh, uh, wikis in simple words or blogs in simple words, that is they are short videos under five minutes explaining a technology topic in a very, very simple way. Kudos to Lee and Sachi for doing such great work. Again, on Master New Media you can find a number of these. I think they're really excellent. In the past I went out of my way, even uh, recommended universities and educational institutions in my post in which I included those videos to actually seriously think about adopting that kind of material for the students. Not just to learn about these topics, but more than that, uh, to use it in new media and journalism schools uh, so that uh, communicators of the future would start to adopt the methods and approaches that are a little more innovative but as effective or more than traditional high production values, uh, high technology use type of production but that many times uh, have no match for the wonderful gems that Lee and Sachi have produced before. Nonetheless, so I was uh, so <laughs> surprised, I must say, the other day when Lee published uh, a new, uh, I haven't looked at it because as you learned from the story I was kind of taken aback from, from what happened, uh, a new video about Twitter. I mean, I knew this was going to be a great video, though I haven't seen it yet for a number of reasons, and I just wanted to jump on it, take it, put it on my site, write an article about it, again put a transcription. Many times I have taken the initiative at my own time and cost to transcribe some of these videos that uh, Lee and Sachi did and to provide a transcription for everyone to use. That wasn't available to me right there and there. So I, I, I wanted to do the same. I wanted to embed the video, put a transcription and say everyone, hey look, Lee Left Beaver has done it another time. Check it out how great the video is. But I went to the site and something new had happened. That is the site where uh, Lee and Sachi post this stuff is called uh, Common Craft. So you go to www.commoncraft.com and what do I find? The video is there, but there is no way for me to first to see a proper player. Blip uh, is using a Blip TV high quality video, but it's not, not embedding the proper player and I wonder why. The second thing is, he's providing me that an embed code for YouTube. And I said, oh, but you got a great video here in Bleep. I, I know I've used it before. It gives me quite some advantages using that. Uh, why do you send me to YouTube? And so I took pen and paper and I wrote uh, an email to Lee and I said, uh, I, I'm wondering why you, you, you don't have the proper embed from Bleep. And I'm wondering why you are not uh, letting me even get to it. Because normally, you know, you can click on a video, go to the source video sharing site, and get to the original page and get the codes there. But when I went to the original page in, we, in which he had posted his uh, video about Twitter, the page said this video has been hidden. So that's when I thought, let me write to Lee. He has come to Rome. I've 
I've gone out with him on a motorbike and with his girlfriend. We've had some good times. So I I thought this was you know nothing terrible to go out and say uh, both to him uh, uh, first. Uh, uh, and then later on on Twitter that I was very surprised that these things uh, were said the way they were. That is, that I could not embed the Blip TV video, could not download it from there, and had to go with the YouTube uh, only. Uh, that didn't feel right to me. So I wrote the email and he replied to me that, first of all, I'm not supposed to tell you any of this, that he has forbidden me to talk about it and especially to tell you the why he has done this, I'm supposed not to tell you. So, I want to play it fair. I'm not going to tell you why he's doing it. You may ask Lee publicly or directly. You choose. He says sometimes he's going to tell you. So, outside of the reason why he's doing it and forbidding me to talk about it, uh, I'm going to talk about only then what is left me. Uh, about the embed, not embed with the proper player, he hasn't replied. So I wrote back to him and I said, look, I posted a, an article last week about how to solve this problem with WordPress when you have a video you can't embed. There is a plugin that is free. My friend Matteo did it. You can use it now. Uh, what do you think? No reply. Uh, he insisted in saying, uh, look, Robin, you haven't understood anything. The video is fully downloadable. You can go to YouTube and get it. I mean, you got it all wrong. Boo! Uh, you know the boo he does in his videos? He booed me inside the email because I ventured to say that this was not too good, that, you know, he hadn't hidden the page, wouldn't allow me to embed the Blip TV video or download it and so on. So, whatever his reasons... What I tell you is this, I think anytime you, Lee, Sachi, Mario, Antonio, anybody who puts something out there, me included, if you put it out there, you want to let it free, the more free the better. If somebody gets frustrated because you don't allow them to repost or resyndicate in some way, I think you should pay attention to that message because those are your fans. I was your big fan until now. I have not hidden it or done it for any interest or direct advantage. I really thought that was that great stuff. If I wanted just to steal your stuff and make myself look good, I would have just posted it there. But I went out of my way and said what I really thought and why I thought it was so great. So I have no fear in saying that and repeating it. I think it's great stuff. I think, though, that it is an issue that you somehow limit or restrict the distribution of your videos for whatever good reasons you have. Whatever new reasons you have, you should f find a better way and you should use the opportunity that your fans and supporters have and desire to redistribute in whichever format or source they want to do that freely. The moment you limit them, somebody is going to be frustrated and you may have lost a great opportunity for further promotion, exposure and visibility. What you want to eventually hide, restrict, limit, sell, uh, give a price to, shouldn't be out there on the internet. You, you, you can show a beautiful golden finger and say, oh, you can look at it only for 30 seconds if you want to look more, pay for more. Actually, you can, but I do not think this is the winning strategy for a professional online publishers that want to have success in the future. What is the winning strategy is in fact your ability to give out what you would have thought that should have been given out for a price completely for free because that will give you much greater leverage, much more credibility and trust and the ability to sell at a much higher price what you have to sell. So. Selling, not selling, showing, not giving, I give you, but only up to a certain point, to me, is one of the worst strategies you can use today to really even monetize or make some uh, commercial uh, revenue out of your talents. So, whatever your talent is, somebody ringing me out of the blue seat. People are on the internet, but I really have strong doubts that many understand it in full. 
I mean, they use it. They can do great stuff. No doubt about it. You, this one ringing was another one who's doing great stuff. But then, sometimes they don't think that they don't reason. They make Skype people to the telephone or sharing or not sharing, you know, uh, um, a marginal element. I don't think they're neither marginal. I mean, this guy who's ringing me has lost 100 points in my head about how much his understanding of the web and his communication tools is and uh, I am going to treat him differently than if he would have just chatted and said, hey Robin, do you have a minute now to talk? This is an asynchronous tool. Do I have to be there and answer you when you're in your Skype? Hey, are you crazy? And so the same. You want to put out a video, put it out fully. What's the problem? You want to do something else with it? Do something else with it. Don't put it on the web though. And if I am out of line with everybody one, with everybody else here, I'm just fine. I don't think I want to be in line if this is the way things should be. I think they should be different. And I think the greatest value is to give what you would give, put that price tag on right now on to give it out for free. Because you can still, still sell more in terms of quantity and more in terms of value the more you do it. So my advice is learn something from this and give a look to the great videos Lee has done and, and tell him what you think. I mean, if you think that my advice is not good, please share. But let's information go off really as much as we can. Ciao from Robin.